Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Cube root of x plus square root of x is equal to 3 over 8. We need to find all possible values of x, where x is a real number. So, let's start. This cube root of x can be written as x to the power 1 over 3 plus this square root of x can be written as x to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 3 over 8. Now, because LCM of this 3 and this 2 is LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. So, we suppose that let x is equal to y to the power 6 and we substitute y to the power 6 in place of every x then this equation will become y to the power 6 whole to the power 1 over 3 plus in place of x we write y to the power 6 whole to the power this power 1 over 2 is equal to 3 over 8. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 6 by this power 1 over 3. So, 3 1 time and 3 2 times 6 and this 2 1 time 2 3 times 6. So, here we are left with y squared plus y cubed is equal to 3 divided by 8. Now, we move this 3 over 8 to the left side. y squared plus y cubed. This positive 3 over 8 will become negative 3 over 8 at left side is equal to 0. x y squared plus y cubed. Now, this negative 3 over 8, negative 3 over 8 can be split as negative 2 over 8 and negative 1 over 8. We split this uh, negative 3 over 8 as negative 2 over 8 and negative 1 over 8 is equal to 0. Now, this 2 1 time and 2 4 times 8 and this 1 over 4 1 over 4 can be written as 1 over 2 squared. So, we write this 1 over 4 with this y squared and because this 1 over 8, 1 over 8 can be written as 1 over 2 whole cubed. So, we write this 1 over 8 with this y cube like this y squared minus 1 over 4 plus y cubed minus 1 over 8 is equal to 0. Next, y squared minus this 1 over 4 can be written as 1 over 2 whole squared plus y cubed minus this 1 over 8 can be written as 1 over 2 whole cubed is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, y squared minus 1 over 2 whole squared can be written as y plus 1 over 2 times y minus 1 over 
टू प्लस बाय यूजिंग दिस अल्जेब्रिक डेंसिटी ए क्यूब्ड माइनस बी क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी टाइम्स ए स्क्वेड प्लस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वेड This uh, y cubed minus one over two whole cubed can be written as y minus one over two times y squared plus one over two times y plus one over two squared means one over four is equal to zero. now as you can see this expression y minus 1 over 2 and this expression y minus 1 over 2 is a common factor so we factor out this y minus 1 over 2 and in bracket left in bracket left this y plus 1 over 2 plus this y squared plus 1 over 2 y plus 1 over 4 bracket left y plus 1 over 2 plus y squared plus 1 over 2 times y plus 1 over 4 is equal to 0 next y minus 1 over 2 times we write this y squared first we write here y squared and this 1y plus 1 over 2y will become plus 3 over 2 times y and this constant 1 over 2 plus this constant 1 over 4 will become plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0 now from here is this expression y minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0 or this expression y squared plus 3 over 2 times y plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0 and from this equation we get the value of y is equal to 1 over 2 and to find uh, other values of y we solve this uh, quadratic equation first uh, to remove fractions uh, we multiply both sides of this equation by 4 we multiply each term by 4 then this uh, implies that uh, 4 times y squared plus uh, 6 times y plus 3 is equal to 0 now we see that uh, either the discriminant of uh, this equation is uh, less than 0 or greater than 0 in this equation a is equal to 4 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 3 and discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4 times a times c and this is equal to in place of b squared we write uh, 6 squared minus 4 times value of a 4 times value of c 3 this is equal to 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 4 16 and 16 times 3 48 and 36 minus 48 is equal to negative 12 so the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0 so no real solutions can be found from this equation so we accept only this value of y 1 over 2 now to find the value of x recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x is equal to y to the power 6 we have supposed that uh, x is equal to y to the power 
So in this equation we put the value of y 1 over 2 then this equation will become x is equal to value of i is 1 over 2 whole to the power this power 6 and x is equal to 1 to the power 6 is 1 divided by 2 to the power 6 is 64. So this is the value of x this is the final answer of this equation.